Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I'll be explaining 3.1, squares and square roots. Let's get to it. Copy and complete each of the following. So here we have 5 times 5 equals to 25. So that means that the square root of 25 equals to square root of 5 times 5. Which means that a square root of 25 equals to 5. Next, 8 times 8 equals to 64. So the square root of 64 equals to the square root of 8 times 8. So this means that square root of 64 equals to 8. 24 square equals to 576. Thus, square root of 576 is 24 square. Okay. So square root is actually a power of half, right? So when we open this bracket, that will give us 24 to the power of 1. There is no square and there is no square root. So that means 24 here. Find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. So here we have 8 square, okay? So 8 square is actually 8 times 8. That should give us 64. Pretty simple, right guys? Next, we have negative 5 over 6 square. So this is actually negative 5 over 6 times negative 5 over 6. So negative and negative will give us positive. 5 times 5 is 25 over 36. And next for C, we have 1.4 square. So this is 1.4 times 1.4 and that will give us 1.96. Next for number 2. Find the value of each of the following by using a calculator. So this is how you put the numbers in your calculator to get the answer. For 29 square, we have 2, 9, square equals 2 and you'll get 841. For B, we have bracket 9 over 12, close bracket, square equals 2 will give us 81 over 121. And lastly for C, we have bracket negative 15.3, close bracket, square equals 2 gives us 234.09. Next for 3.1D, find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. So here we have A, square root of 81, right? So square root of 81 is actually a square root of 9 times 9. So that will give us 9. Next for B, we have square root of 49, and this is actually a square root of 7 times 7. So that will give us 7. And this gives us a square root of 11 times 11, which is 11. Next for D, we have square root of 900. So here we have square root of 30 times 30. And that will give us 30. 7 times 7 over 9 times 9. And that will give us 7 over 9. Next for F, we have square root of 7, 1 over 9. So this is actually uh, 64 over 9. And that means square root of 8 times 8 over 3 times 3. So that will give us 8 over 3. Next for G, we have square root of 50 over 128. So when we simplify this, we will get a square root of 25 over 64. This one divided by 2 gives us 25 and the denominator divided by 2 gives us 64. So simplifying this, we have square root of 5 times 5 over 8 times 8 and that gives us 5 over 8. And lastly, for H, we have square root of 2.25, 9 over 4. So that will give us square root of 3 times 3 over 2 times 2. And that will give us 3 over 2. Next, for self-practice 3.1G, Eileen has a piece of square cloth. The area of the cloth is between 6,400 centimeters square and 12,100 cm square. She wants to use the cloth to sew a piece of square tablecloth to cover the square, to cover the surface of the square table. 
the length of each side of the table is 92 cm. What is the length of the cloth in cm that Eileen should sew? Okay, so here we have the length of the table is at 92 cm. Okay, so this is the table. All right. So since the area of the cloth is actually 6,400 cm square to 12,100 cm square. Okay, so here now we know that the area is actually 6,400 cm square until 12,100 cm square. But area is actually the base and the height, right? However, to know just one side, we will have to square root this number and that will give us be 80 cm and the maximum will be a square root of 12,100 will give us 110 cm maximum, okay? So since the tablecloth is only 92 cm and the maximum of cloth that we have is 110 cm, so the cloth that Eileen should sew is in between 92 cm to 110 cm. Next for B, Eileen plans to decorate the surrounding sides of the tablecloth with white lace that is 4.5 meters long so that the tablecloth will look nice. So we have 4.5 meters, which is actually 450 cm. Is the length of the white lace enough? Give a reason for your answer. So we know that the minimum length of each side is actually 92, right? So for a square tablecloth, you have to take 92 times 4 and that will give us 368 cm and for the maximum which is 110 so we'll take 110 times 4 that will be 440 cm however since we have 450 cm of lace if Eileen uses 110 cm per side we will only need 440 cm so that means that the total amount of lace is enough because the max Maximum amount of lace needed is 4.4 meters. So lastly for number 8, a group of 100 members from a cultural club participated in a Malaysia Chitra Warna parade. They made various formations throughout the parade. When a member of the cultural group made a formation in the shape of a square, state the number of members in each row of the square. So here we have 100 members. If we would like to create a square for an equal number of members on each side, so we will have to square root this number and that will give us 10. So in this square, there will be 10 on the base and 10 on the height. And next for B, at a certain instance, the members of the group formed two squares simultaneously. Determine the number of members in each row of each square. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4.
Okay, so one square is one. Two square is four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, eighty-one, and one hundred. So one is out. We cannot use one, and hundred is also one out because they have to form two different squares. All right. So in order to form two different squares, the base and the height has to be of equal number. That is why we did a square here. So both the numbers of two squares, when we add it together, it has to come up to hundred because there are hundred members, right? So four adding any of these numbers will not give us hundred. So this is out. That is the same for nine. We cannot add nine with any of the other numbers to get hundred. Sixteen is also out. Twenty-five, thirty-six. When we add with sixty-four, will give us hundred. So we'll just keep that in view for now. Let's see forty-nine. Forty-nine plus any of these numbers will also not give us hundred. And lastly, eighty-one will also not add up with any number to give us a hundred. So that leaves us with thirty-six and sixty-four. So one square will give us. Thirty-six members and another square will be sixty-four members. You know the number of people on each side will have to square root thirty-six, and that will give us six, which means six on the base and six on the height. And for sixty-four, if we square root it, we will get eight. That means eight in the height and eight in the base.